Hey everybody, Cindy here with Monarch Mom DIY. Thanks for joining me today. I am so excited to bring you four more DIY hacks using the wallpaper from Dollar Tree. So for DIY number one, I am taking one of these unfinished cigar boxes, this beautiful peonies wallpaper and some Waverly chalk paint, and we're going to decorate up this box. Now, unfortunately, the hardware on here is silver, so I am going to carefully remove the hardware and I'm going to save the screws for another project, but I'm going to spray paint the hinges on the back and this latch on the front with some gold spray paint. That's because in the wallpaper, the metallic color is gold. So obviously this is an optional step if you don't wanna go through this, but I am making this as a gift or to sell in my auction. So we're gonna spray paint the hardware. And actually taking off the hardware does make it easier to paint. So that's what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna take my Waverly chalk paint in the color white, and this is actually the bottom half of the box. So I'm painting the entire bottom and all four sides of the bottom half of the box. Then on the top half of the box, I'm just gonna do the four sides because we're going to be applying that gorgeous wallpaper to the top of our box. And you can see here on the top of the box, I did decide just to go a little bit around the edges, just in case some of the box lid shows around the paper. So just so we have a nice uniform cover of the white. Now I'm gonna take my ruler here and just measuring the dimensions here of the box. It is not perfectly square, so make sure you measure both directions. And then I'm gonna get out my little paper trimmer here. This is found in the description with my most used crafting tools I just love this paper it is so so pretty and we're gonna be able to save the other half of this for another project another box you could put some on the inside of the box if you'd like I'm not gonna be doing that but we're going to come and um, attach this now to the top of our box figure out which way it's gonna fit the best and we're gonna peel that backing paper off and get it lined up. It is pretty sticky. Um, if you wanna make sure it's gonna stick the best, I would suggest lightly sanding the top of your box, get it nice and smooth. Next, just to get the edges nice and uniform, if you guys watch me at all, you know this is a, an important step for me. I'm gonna take that sandpaper and we're just going to get any excess. You can see on this side, we've got a little excess of the paper hanging over, so no problem. We're gonna sand that off and get it a nice um, little bit of a white distressed edge. Again, that's also why we did the white paint on the lid around the edges. As I mentioned before, we're gonna spray paint the hardware gold so that it matches better with our paper. So here I'm just taking a piece of painter's tape and I'm sticking the two hinges and the two pieces of the clasp there, the latch, and we're gonna take them out and spray paint them gold. Then when they're all spray painted, we're gonna bring them back in and now we're going to reattach them to our box. The nice thing about this too is sometimes they put them on their little crooked so we can make them nice and straight. And I am gonna use some screws that were from uh, some other hardware that I got at Hobby Lobby 
to match. Now you probably could put the silver screws back in there and maybe just touch up the tops with some gold paint. Um, but I really think that this was a nice extra step to spray paint the hardware gold to match our paper. Now that our two hinges are on the back, I'm gonna come over to the front and I am gonna tape the box shut a little bit so it doesn't keep flopping open as these two pieces need to match up so that the latch will stay connected uh, when you close your box. So here is our decorated box using the beautiful wallpaper. You can see I left mine unfinished on the inside. You of course could decorate the inside as well. This could be a great little box for stationery, for so many little things. I just love it and love how beautiful this wallpaper is on the top of this box. So many ideas. For DIY number two, we're gonna use this wall shelf from Dollar Tree as well as some tumbling tower blocks four of these little wooden mushrooms, and this blue and white of the wallpaper. So here I'm just taking some tumbling tower blocks, and I'm kind of measuring how many it would take to go across. You can see three long hangs over just a little bit on either side. I want to make a little decorative riser with this. So here I'm using 12 of the unfinished blocks on this right side and then we're going to do the same on the left so what i'm going to do is i'm going to first glue together some sticks of three and i'm going to do eight of these for a total of 24 blocks you could also use the ones that are brown i know the boxes of tumbling tower blocks that are currently in my stores are the mixed un uh, unpainted and the brown kind of stained look so just taking some wood glue, we're gonna make eight of these sticks of three tumbling tower blocks. Next, coming to our wall shelf, I did cut this piece of wallpaper in half the long way. I would suggest before you attach this down that you lightly sand where the holes are. We are gonna be covering those up, but they may um, have a little bit of a raised uh, bit to them. So if you want your riser completely flat, Make sure you sand down those four holes. Now we're just going to line up the wallpaper. I did cut it just a little bit bigger so that I can then trim it and then use the sandpaper like we did on the unfinished box in DIY number one. Next, coming back to our sticks of tumbling tower blocks, I'm now gonna take two sticks of three and we're going to glue them together side by side like this. So now instead of eight individual sticks of three, we're gonna have four sets that have six like this. One tip for gluing the tumbling tower blocks together, I do like to sand them in between each stage so that any extra glue um, is sanded off so these are nice and smooth. So I did sand them when it was just the sticks of three and then now with the sets of six. So now with our sets of six, we're gonna glue these together two at a time to make the side pieces for our riser. Coming back to our little riser here, I love this blue and white wallpaper. I decided I wanted to go ahead for it to look cohesive. I am going to paint the bottom side of our riser 
and the side edges with Waverly chalk paint in white. You of course could do this step before you attach the wallpaper either way. And I'm also going to paint these four little wooden mushrooms from Dollar Tree. Lots of different things you could use for the feet of your riser. I just happen to have these in my stash. You could use the little, I don't know what they're called, candle cups or something from Hobby Lobby. You could use more tumbling tower blocks to make feet. You could use the little wooden cubes. Lots of choices, but I chose to use these little mushrooms and I'm gonna paint these white. And as I mentioned, I'm also going to paint the side edges of my riser. And now that our tumbling tower blocks are completely dry of the wood glue, we're gonna give them one more final sanding before we paint these white as well. I was seeing that they were kind of bowed a little bit, so I decided to um, use some clamps on them just to make sure they were as flat as possible before we paint them. So I'm gonna paint all the sides of these except for the bottom that's going to be glued onto the riser. No need to waste the paint. So the top and then all four side edges. Now that the paint on our riser and our little mushroom feet are dry, I'm just gonna use hot glue. Of course, you could use wood glue if you'd like and I'm going to just line these up on the holes that are already pre-drilled into our little wall shelf and get all four of the feet onto our riser. Now coming back to our tumbling tower block side pieces here, I am going to just sand them just to smooth them out, give maybe a slight distressed look, but mainly just to smooth out the paint. And then once we get those sanded down, we're gonna glue them onto the sides of our riser. And again, I'm just going to attach these with a good amount of hot glue. As I showed at the beginning when we were laying out the blocks, three tumbling tower blocks is just slightly longer than this side of the riser, but I'm just going to glue it on, getting the same amount hanging over either side, and I don't mind it. I would much rather have that than try to cut pieces of tumbling tower blocks. I think it's cute. And this is a really simple way to make a nice decorative riser. You could use any of the wallpaper pieces from Dollar Tree to make a unique display piece. For DIY number three, we're going to use a combination of another sheet of wallpaper and one of these wall stickers from Dollar Tree that the colors coordinated. I'm also going to use a wood circle. You can use the ones from Dollar Tree. This one is a little bit thicker from Hobby Lobby. So I'm finding where the midpoint is on the circle and I'm gonna tape that off and I'm going to paint the top half of my wood circle with my Waverly White. And once that paint is dry, I am going to smooth that out with my 400 grit sandpaper just to make it nice and smooth for the word stickers from Dollar Tree to be able to stick down. You can see I'm also sanding lightly the bottom half of my uh, round there just to make sure it's nice and smooth for the wallpaper to stick as well. Here I'm showing you the pieces I'm using. It's a three pack. They are 10 inches from Hobby Lobby. I love this paper. I can't remember what it's called. They all have kind of funny names, but 
I am gonna line this up and then I'm just gonna loosely draw a rounded edge where I can cut and then we'll sand the extra off. That's just so much easier than trying to cut your wallpaper exactly to fit and then having to try to line it up exactly. So we have still a lot of that piece that we can use for another project. We're gonna peel off the backing here and we're gonna line up that straight edge right on the edge of our white paint. Then again, taking our sandpaper, I think you see a common theme here. We're going to sand in a downward motion to get that extra wallpaper off. I loved how the colors of the words on this sticker match the colors of the wallpaper. I'm not gonna be able to use all of these words. I'm just gonna cut out the word family and two of these little hearts because this round is pretty small. And um, these attach pretty well. I'm just gonna peel the backing off and get it lined up there on the white half of my round. Then we'll get our two little hearts here on either side of the word family. Now I did decide to drill a couple holes in my wood round. If you don't have a drill, you can always staple or hot glue your jute twine to the back but I'm just gonna take some of these white beads that I had in my stash and make a beaded hanger to finish off this super cute little wood round sign. And I love how this turned out. If you wanted to, you could put a piece of ribbon or something across the middle, but I didn't think it needed it. I love how this turned out, just how it is. And for DIY number four, this is pretty simple. We're gonna take one of the glass cylinders from Dollar Tree and this other gorgeous wallpaper. I am first going to take my vase and I'm gonna spray mainly focusing on the middle section with this frosted glass. Then I'm counting up, I'm gonna have like an open frosted glass space in the middle and then a strip of this I don't know what you call this, it's kind of eucalyptus. It's really pretty. I wanted something neutral that would go with any type of florals that you would put inside. So I'm cutting two strips that are two and a half inches. We're gonna place one of these around the top edge of our vase and one around the bottom edge. Once the two pieces were on, I am going to sand at least the bottom edge. It's a little bit curved, and so I wanted to make sure the paper wasn't um, sticking out at all, so we're gonna sand that bottom edge. You could sand the top edge as well if you'd like, and we're just going to smooth all of this wallpaper out. And here's how our little vase turned out. I love that frosted glass section in the middle and how this all turned out. 
Thanks again so much for joining me. Please let me know in the comments which of these wallpaper hacks was your favorite, and we'll see you next time. Take care.